Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today we are going to talk about how to read New York notation of phylogenetic trees. And this type of notation is recognizable by computers, so using this code computers may build a phylogenetic tree. And sometimes we also use this type of notation in scientific papers in order to save a space, so scientists just looking at this notation would be able to tell what kind of phylogenetic tree it is. So let's also practice today and build phylogenetic tree. So here, as you see, we have species A and B separated by comma. That means that we have relationship as follows. So species A, species B, and, and between these two sister taxa, we have a node. So let's put a node here which represent recent common ancestor. And here we have other species C and D. So let's also put C and D. And again, this is two sister taxa. And here is a comma stand for the recent common ancestor. And as you see, between these two monophyletic groups, we have a comma. That means that these two monophyletic groups have common ancestor. So this is going to be a reconstruction of what we see here. And here we also have outgroup species E. That means that relationship have to be as follows. So species E here, and this is going to be outgroup. So recent common ancestor is going to be here for this whole group. One more time, this parenthesis here specify this monophyletic group and we also can say that we can put parenthesis here. And this parenthesis here stands for this monophyletic group and we also can say that we can put parenthesis here as follows. And as you see, these two monophyletic groups we can join into even bigger monophyletic group. So let me use different color, yellow color. So we have to include recent common ancestor of these two groups. And now we have larger monophyletic group. So we also can put parentheses here. And in our new week notation, this is going to be this parentheses here. This comma stand for this node here, this comma stand for this node here, this comma stand for this node here, and this comma stand for this node here. Species E here is outgroup. So again, we also can join them into even bigger monophyletic group that is going to be as follows. And this parenthesis here stand for this biggest circle. So we also can add this parenthesis here. Here on the right is the same notation as here. I just want to show you different way how we can visualize it. So species A and B, species C and D, and we connect them as follows. And also species E is going to be here. So now we have the same phylogenetic tree. It looks slightly differently, but again, this is going to be the same phylogenetic tree as here on the left. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.